Hi YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in again. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian and this may be my last YouTube video before I get picked up by a security agency from a country called Ura. This specific agency is known as DSS. I believe you know what that means. All right. All right. So I may be picked up anytime from now, maybe on the process of filming this video or after filming this video, I will get picked up by DSS from Ura. For those of you that do not know Ura, Ura is a country somewhere in Africa. Fine. You may be confused. Ah, what have you done, Lily? I thought you are a legitimate resident in Ghana and you are a good person why are you on the wanted list i am going to state that later in the video but first i just want you guys to pay attention to details in this video like i said this may just be the last video of me that you will see on this channel and that is because of you know i'm on the wanted list of dss from ura and they are coming all the way from ura to get me arrested if you are confused what is ura and which country is all of a sudden ura ura is a country located in west africa ura is a country that its citizen has done the reputation of that country dirty they have done all sort of in the name of that country now the country reputation has gone totally bad beyond repair so the lawmakers in that country came up with came up with a bill to see if they can pass the bill so if the bill passed you know could pass all it reading at, at the state house of that country so they can adopt the name ura yeah ura is united states of africa so they want to abandon their former name because the reputation of that country has gone totally bad beyond remedy so that is ura and the uh, DSS are coming to arrest me and other young Nanji. What am I saying? And other young citizens from that same country that are living in another sovereign state in West Africa. Yeah, before I explain my crime to you guys in this video, I would like to say a very big thank you to Ghana as Ghana has once again elevated Nigeria and the economy of Nigeria. And I am going to explain. Please do not judge me until you understand my full point in this video. I'm not in a hurry to explain to all of you, my darlings, what I have done to warrant, you know, being arrested and back to Ura to face charges for my crime. But then, like I said, I want, I want to say a very big thank you to Ghana because when I first got here, I was very focused on simple things around, like the cultural shocks around here. For me, I come from a country where immediately you say your name we already know where you are from immediately we see the food you eat we already know where you are from immediately the way you sound we could tell where you are from and we've been we have been going on like that you don't eat the food from another region because they are not it's not good enough yeah i come from a country like that so when i got to ghana i realized that people eat the same food i've made videos in the past in that regard talking about about how sure I was but after living here for some time I am no longer surprised I have studied to know why people are doing that and I think it's amazing started my journey from there from these videos for the fact that some of us don't know how to sugarcoat things it is what it is it is white if it is white and it has nothing to do with who is involved for me you'll be concerned about my loved ones Oh, any day your loved ones commit a crime, it simply means you are going to give them away. You are not going to stand by them. Yes, that is very true. And that is why if you are someone that is important to me, you are my loved, loved one, you commit a crime or you are practicing something that I think may lead you into trouble in future, the first thing I would do is never to judge you. I will advise. I hate to give advice because myself, I do not like unsolicited advice. But because someone is my loved one and whatever affects you will affect me, the first thing I like to tell you is to desist from that act. That is if you're practicing something 
that I think is wrong. If you are a cyber criminal and you are related to me or you are friends with me, I will preach against it. And if you are practicing things that are harmful to other people and you are close to me, there is tendency that I will tell you to stop. Except I see you do these things and I do not. Yeah, but if you mean absolutely nothing to me i will allow you practice these things all right you will do these things because they are none of my business so if you are close to me i will tell you to please take a break because when the time comes when you will give account for these practices i will not be able to protect you i may not be the one that will report you but i am certainly not going to pretend that you are a good person when i i know for sure that you have gone against the law so yeah in case you are thinking yes that is this that is that and that means i cannot just get up today get married to just anybody that is available even if the person is a cyber criminal an armed robber a kidnapper i won't just marry you because you are the available man to marry me at that time because the reason i don't want to marry you is not just because of your sins but for the fact that i will not be able to lie i will not be able to cover you i will not be able to I just won't associate myself with you so it's best for us not to start not to associate but it doesn't mean i'm judging you do you understand so for those who already said oh someone like you you are dangerous if a man marries you and he goes wrong against you you are going to give him away no i'm not that kind of person i am just someone who is easy to please but i will like you as you are pleasing me i am not a selfish person don't hurt people you should be able to know i mean you should be able to know right from wrong so if you are indulging in dirty acts i'm certainly not going to be near you i'm not your friend except i do not know about it i hope we understand now we can proceed further so giving my opinions about my shocks i mean about my discoveries in ghana when i first got here talking about the peace and simplicity of the people and how much i love it here because i am a lover of nature i love so much when you take me to a natural environment there is a way i behave and i love how i can resonate with areas like that so when i came to ghana because in ghana ghana is packed with nature all right ghana is a very natural um, country if you are a lover of nature you're seeking for modern nature ghana got you covered so when i came this were some of the things I focused on. I started to pick up my phone and I started to document all of these places. I felt like, yeah, on the process, I got noticed by people who enjoyed this content. And on the process, some people from Nigeria, no more Ura here, people from Nigeria started to leave me comments that are very, very, very ugly. Things like, them threatening my life some of them go as far as threatening my life some of them call me village girl they call me prostitute they call me all sort of and my only offense at that time was that i generally document ghana places i love in ghana and and all of my amazing experiences in ghana so that got me hated by so many people from nigeria they started to abuse me mentally at some point if you all remember if you have been following me back then i broke down i almost deleted my channel there were attacks from both sides both from ghana and from nigeria because a nigerian who didn't just like me or something whom i call quit our friendship due to some things because it's either you are in my life and you are playing by the normal rules because I am going to respect you, but please do same. And if you can't respect me, I'm going to walk away. And when I walked away from that friendship, this person raised a campaign of hate against me. And he called on his fans from Ghana to hate on me badly. Like my mental health was so messed up. I turned here Nigerians were hating on me from the other side that I have promoted Ghana. So at the end of the day, I sat down and weighed it, you know, all blessed to some Ghanaians that stood by me at that period because I could have ended it all. I was, I was in such a bad place at that time. But yeah, someone would say it's not that deep. It's just social media, right? Then I wasn't as strong as I am now. I was new to the whole thing. I didn't know that you could be hated so much 
just for loving and expressing yourself without lying about it so yeah that was the price i had to pay for not lying about my feelings all right no one is to be blamed i dealt with it and i'm i came out strong all right so nigerians started to put me down with their harsh words they wouldn't stop at some point Ghanaians, when they realized the truth after blocking these ones and when i discovered that some of the hate, the hate comments were not really human they were just mass produced it's just the same person who raised the campaign who sat down create multiple accounts to use them to troll me and he created this account in using some names uh, some of the Ghanaian names to troll me and make me believe is Ghanaians that are hating on me so true that worked really but after praying for some time God revealed to me and I confronted the situation everything stopped but Nigerians wouldn't stop they keep coming with that hate so at some point it feels like okay see they're accusing you of everything you're not doing what about you sit down and start giving your real opinion about issues so since then i decided to talk because you're not talking they are beating you you are dying so talk may you kukuma die once and for all so we've been on that and back and forth and at some point i just wanted to focus on things that fascinate me here in Ghana which includes healthcare and education and of course I've talked about security a couple of times but I keep repeating if you wake me from sleep I'll still tell you that security in Ghana is very good but I will attribute that to all Ghanaians including the police the government and the people because the people contribute immensely to that sector in Ghana so yeah I've always stated that clear but I've always been on this health and education especially health lately because for me I don't know how to walk away from people when they are in need except I do not have and in my not having sometimes I will try my best to help you I have done it for so many people including Nigeria and I'm still doing you know on social media people don't understand but in real life if you know me you can attest to that fact I've never felt the need to try to prove to the world that I'm a good person I have you know not have issues with people being you know misunderstanding me in my honesty some people have judged me harshly so many people have judged me wrongly and they sees me like someone that don't have a heart and all that but I'm actually an amazing person I'm actually a sweet person and I do not know how to walk away from people when they are struggling and I know I can so when I discovered how the healthcare system in Ghana works I feel like this is amazing this is just how I would have done things for everybody if I could afford to the government of Ghana is doing that for its citizen through healthcare where everyone is inclusive of you know benefits from the tax paying money and all that the gap between the rich and the poor is not that wide and I have been taking on some of these topics like showcasing the hospitals both private and public this has nothing to do with politics and already for those who have accused me of this and still keep doing please I once again want to explain that I have nothing to do with the politics in Ghana I only talk about things I know and that in the political space in Ghana like I know little to nothing about it and there's no way I will sit down and talk about it though I've been accused of all that why are you showcasing the health industry why are you what what is your point but the truth is thanks to majority of you that understand that it has nothing to do with politics all right this is me celebrating something I could resonate with something I wish I could do something I know I would do if I'm in position to do so discovering that that is possible in Africa where the rich and the poor are being carried along it gives me joy and that is the only reason I've been talking about the healthcare system in Ghana I know you are waiting to hear the part how Ghana has helped Nigeria exactly because I've been on that there is this busy body woman on YouTube something pride liar pride if you search for liar pride you may see her she's a Nigerian woman I'm going to play her video here on the screen later in the video you get to see what i'm talking about so because i have been showcasing amazing hospitals in ghana which these are places and things you can find they exist it's not imaginary ones and i have talked about all this so she too has decided to promote nigeria 
but some of the clips in this video she stole them from ghana so this is how ghana has contributed immensely to the growth of the nigerian healthcare sector she has been promoting all the private hospitals all the foreign hospitals based in nigeria she has been promoting them and all thanks to me who started the movement all right i hope you understand now and if ghana didn't give me a chance if ghana didn't have all of these things in place i would not have seen anything to talk about that would motivate her to also do for nigeria so that is step one on how ghana has helped nigeria thank you very much i'm going further into the video first there are plans to get some fake dss or real dss i wouldn't know my country is a country full of lawlessness and you know a recent time and not recent times right now people are about to sue someone to court just because someone gave an opinion about rich people rich people in nigeria or someone saw a child of a rich gospel singer and the person said oh wow this baby looks like this person now the whole country is against that person who gave their opinion i mean like they could see the baby and even me i can see i'm sitting today here to say yes i don't know any of them personally i don't know how combo that baby truly looks like the person they said the baby looks like case closed but they are about to hang but that those guys are going to prison all right that is the kind of country i come from and everybody is applauding because the other people regardless if the baby truly looks like the other man or not people don't care he must go to prison because the people he have said something about that feels like you know something that is supposed to be it's nothing so this guy is supposed to go to prison and he will be going to prison and nothing will happen that is the kind of country i come from now the plan is to get me arrested and my crime is because i have promoted ghana or i have stated clearly you understand i have been like i'm just talking about things i don't like in my country that is my legitimate rights and i fail to sit down and turn on my lights and insult other african countries like we have always do so because of that dss from ura wants to pick me up so that may happen but whatever happens all that i need you to do is please help my children all right help them reunite with my mother all that i would need you to do if you ever appreciate anything i've been doing on youtube you love my work you enjoy my content maybe they make you laugh or entertain you or educate you all that i would need you to do in case you don't hear from me ever again please help my kids reunite with my mother video i don't want to sound like a victim because of course lily can never be a victim we will follow this to the end maybe it's just an opportunity for justice to be restored in my country amen yeah so my crime is forever in fact just basically doing the type of content i'm doing so the other time in case you think i'm overreacting or i'm exaggerating do you remember that this same country had a publication against me and other nigerian youtubers living in ghana i mean a national newspaper a reputable one old respected newspaper in nigeria had a publication against young people that are living in ghana and what is their offense really they couldn't come up with anything they just couldn't and that is a country we are talking about that same country is sending dss to come and arrest me the same people that sponsored that publication are the same people that are calling on illegal or legal dss to come to ghana and pick me up i have been named as one of the people to be picked up and my offense are all my youtube videos on here the good thing is i'm not privating any of the videos so in case i am taken to court or just being held back there if that is going to bring peace to nigeria i don't care i don't mind i will do it all i need you to do is please see my kids through for me help them reunite with my mother i am ready to do this it's not supposed to be this deep because come on this is how toxic nigerians are forgive me if you are not toxic you are a nigerian and you're not toxic you understand the law and you fear god 
in your heart but some of our people are quite toxic i mean we have ghanaians living in ghana that are creating content like this let me display this content i'll be back over and over again, Nigerian entertainment are not competing with who? Nigerians in that entertainment industry, they are not competing with South Africa. Uh-huh. They are competing with America. They are competing with the world greatest America. <laughs> You people been spreading hate towards Nigerians. I've been seeing it on social media, bro. Ghanaians started commenting, Nigeria, Nigeria don't have electricity. Nigeria will delay your album. Nigeria this, Nigeria that. I was like, bro, my Jimmy and I. These guys are Ghanaians. And they could say, you know, they could give their opinion. Most times, their opinions are in support of Nigerians. And they will use words against their own people when they think their people are wrong. That is their opinion. When they think, I didn't say when their people are wrong. You understand the difference? When they think their people are wrong. So these people, so these guys could say whatever, they could create content. And guess what? They live in Ghana and they are Ghanaians, but nothing has happened. No head quits. Nobody has ever frowned at them to say, oh, Charlie, why will you do this against your country? You see the difference? But these other people who may never experience peace in their lives, because this, how do we get peace? When, uh, how do our country experience peace? When people abandon issues, real issues to talk about issues like a youtube video by a young person by young people who are just doing their things in other country that's because the young people from your country are saying that oh this country is not as bad as what we were told about this country as poor as we were made to believe it's not as simple as you think this country is actually doing amazing this is like a pleasant surprise and this is why they keep telling us that are single mothers never to tell your child weird and evil things about your spouse for me as a mother don't tell your child evil things about their absentee father because one day they may want to find out more by themselves or they may have an encounter with this man by the time this man makes his way back into the child's life by the time anytime because anytime this man decides to rethink and retrace or have made so much mistake and now wants to try to do the right thing or they just have no option because truly life has shown them that you cannot abandon your blood and go scot free so because for some of us we are not denying this man access to the child but they just feel like no need for it and i have been taking the societal shame and all the disgrace and insult thrown at me but i've refused to let my child down but one day what if this man makes his way back into the child's life and by this time i already tell the child all sort of bad things about the person so i have been told never to tell my kids anything bad about their father all right and this is just a case of nigerians and nigerians who after hearing all sort of about ghana you come to ghana when you realize that all that you have been told is not true you will start to feel like wow 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 and these people will start to hate on you because you shouldn't have finally see the truth so yeah that is that so yeah that is that and that is how i have always been telling other people stop looking down on ghana ghana is not what you have been told told it to be like ghana is not what they may have told you this english is, is struggling me like i'm stressed how do i now put in my language you're not going to understand ghana is not what they have told you ghana is not as ordinary as they want you to believe fine when you come here don't be like me just have this idea already in advance so that you will know that is my only crime just like we are retelling our stories as africans oh 
the western media oh the western media did this they destroyed the reputation of the western i mean of africa they destroyed the reputation of asia they will destroyed okay so now that we are retelling our stories to the world um, most of our african americans that repatriated back to africa or that visits africa always expresses shocks oh wow oh wow yeah that is it for me as a nigerian coming to realize that ghana is not what i've been told told it to be case closed so yeah that is that so my only offense begins from there all right so i am supposed to continue to follow the routine sit down set a ring light abuse people that have done me absolute nothing people that will ordinarily not look for your trouble except you want it i should i'm supposed to do all of that to please the people to please the people of my own nation and several occasions they tell me don't talk about nigeria again in most of my videos before they came for me i wasn't even talking about nigeria in a negative light i only say wow so you eat that in ghana oh in my country we don't and that is because we don't Igbo person not a chop amala except them born you for lagos normally i have eaten amala before where people that are known yoruba were and they said a lot of demeaning things about my food that is because that is how it is same thing with the west you may be eating something like apple fufu from the west or south because our method of preparing the same fufu our method of preparing fufu the same fufu is not the same the way the yorubas prepares their fufu is not the same as the way the Igbos and and the south south part of nigeria prepares their own fufu it's entirely different and yoruba will tell you ah like it's hard that is stone i cannot eat it all right so will i now come now and lie that in my country wow you eat kenke you are ewe you eat kenke you are ashanti kenke i was shocked i was shocked when i came to ghana and realized that you can see a northern from the northern part of ghana you can see someone from the ashanti you can see someone from volta you can see someone from the ga i mean you can see someone you can see a fancy person you can see someone from the central i mean these people don't have oh volta restaurant they don't have calabar restaurant like we do but that doesn't mean that we are bad i'm only saying we don't do that and um, people came at me why why can't i have the freedom to express myself this is how toxic some of our people are and that is why the word peace we can only hear it but we will never experience it if we don't change our attitude i mean like since when have you restrict people from giving their freedom of speech i mean yeah you come you abuse other and african nations some of us is it doesn't sit well because you are my brother you are my sister because you are my brother and my sister i should caution you against the habit of looking down on others and making videos putting them down you know deep you know how this all this competition you like you come and say stop comparing what are you afraid of comparison comparison now that this woman have picked up the health sector in nigeria she have picked videos online of some horrible hospitals and also some hospitals that are looking nice from other countries put it together and make a video she wants to focus on health care system in nigeria i am going to start comparing yeah i'm going to start picking a video this is going to help fasten the whole process of dss to come fast because they are taking time i don't i don't understand may they come so that I go focus so that life will go they go on because i don't have time to always be worried if they are the ones knocking at my door now that she is on this health thing, nobody is competing with you you are competing with yourself i simply showcase the healthcare system in ghana you should do same without always dragging me into it you go to this woman's comment section you see people writing my name calling my name cursing me saying all sort of things about me attacking me then they will come privately and still threaten me so yeah that is that this is it i am not preparing myself to be liked by nigerians because they will never like me 
Number one is I am a single mother and as a single mother in Nigeria, if you like, jump into the lagoon as I'm speaking right now. Nigerians will never like you. And your only crime is that you did not abandon the children that Nigerian men abandons for you. Or be it men from anywhere. Abandon. You are supposed to take those children and keep them somewhere. Or bring these children to the house of this man. All those, this man, you know, you get married to another Nigerian man so that he will protect you from other Nigerian men from them beating you because you are a woman and single i say these things you people will make a mountain like am i lying it's true so at least by the time i'm done with this video it's going to help dss to have something to work on to use against me but remember that the world is watching i'm trying my best not to sound like a victim because lily can never be a victim come on at my age i should own it nigerians will never like you as a single mother already i know and how did i know I could see that happen to other people. I see that happen to so many women. And who am I to start to expect them to like me? I already knew what to expect. So for me, it's a pleasant knowledge, not a surprise. So for me, it was there's nothing to be surprised about. So Nigerians will never like me because I am a single mother. I am a mother who have dedicated herself to my kids to protect them. Because it's the first thing I'm supposed to do is quickly get married, remarry to anybody, anybody, criminal, anything, yahoo boy, it is, um, yahoo boy, oh, kidnapper, anybody, I'm robber, just marry anyone, a fake pastor, marry them and then these people will start to molest your child. They will start to molest your children right there in your eyes and you are expected to continue in that marriage so that they will like you. I am not like that and I will never be because I know the difference between being good and being bad and I have chosen nothing else but to protect my girls so I'm not surprised that Nigerians hate me whatsoever majority of these people are fathering kids that are not theirs yeah someone like this woman now check if I dare you someone like this woman now do a DNA test on her kids do a DNA test on her kids and then thank me later some of these people are fathering kids that are not or biologically theirs and they have no idea because as a woman you have to stay there and the best way even if you get pregnant outside bring it to the man and rob it stay there just do anyhow the society is happy with you than a woman who lives her truth in my case it wasn't like okay i couldn't take it no more i left no but i'm not trying to explain that to anybody because who cares right but one thing i will never do is to have abandoned a physically challenged child because a man wants me to abandon that child for the marriage to go on like what is marriage exactly is it marriage is it the same thing that is breaking up every day like a common thing or just quickly dumb that child with my mother because my mom is willing she's a nigerian she's willing to please help me hold that child even if i don't want people to know about her about that child she doesn't mind she just wants her child her daughter me to go out there and be free remarry and be respected by the society but no one can force that ideas down my throat so the hatred nigerians have for me it has nothing to do with my style of content it has more to do with my personality and that is not a problem so dss can come fast if you don't hear from me anymore please find a way to contact my kids okay and help them reunite with my mother but for me i'm not going to back down it's okay for nigerians to insult Ghanaians and call it cruise but once some of us come against you for doing that right i'm going to be in ghana i am legitimately living in ghana but you think i should be here and then this fake dss or the real ones who just come and pick me and kidnap me and take me to nigeria i would pack that a case of kidnap just imagine these people because this desperate man that wrote on vanguard i hope you know that whatever you're doing me and other young people you have children i hope you know that you have children so the plan to silence us is gone beyond them campaigning on social media trying to silence us doing this what exactly has other nations done to you this same energy that nigerians are giving to Ghanaians, they can't give it to south africans they will they will they, they can't no nigerian can try but it's okay to sit down and just insult Ghanaians and get away with it because of course they have always and will always choose peace 
over violence and that's the same way people's uh people emotion i mean th that is the same language we, that is the only language we understand problem violence blackmail if not why is it a problem for me to sit down and create content in favor of any country i so wish do you think that youtube do not know what they are doing the same people try to lock this account down they try to take this channel down they have team here they have done this they try to come privately to threaten me how far will you go and then every day we keep blaming our leaders that they have done this they have done that when ourselves we are worse or are you saying that it's tinumbu that sent you to do all of these toxic things to me say all sort of things to me while i wait for dss but as we confirm today the style of content i'm going to do will hasten this whole process because they are delaying they are delaying what is it about nigeria that Ghanaians will be envious of what exactly is it our long suffering that is never coming to an end and these are the things we do to bring causes into the land injustice and unnecessary hate people you will see a woman pick choose a man over a child and that child will be homeless that child will be homeless and if you don't follow suit as a woman it's a problem they'll they'll hate you so bad don't tell me to turn it down because there's nothing to turn so i will be waiting for dss to come from ura to pick me up uh, there is nothing Nigerians can't do anyways because if you could go to a newspaper outlet and make a publication about young people living in another country about Ghana cautioning them from promoting the country say they have put your own country they have put their own country down what is putting down if I say Yoruba people do not like Igbo Af Akbu, Igbo Fufu they do not like it because they said it's strong even the Eba what is a lie inside what is that and if I say yes it's true mm, it's true we know they get light for Nigeria that one is it talking down that is because that is the truth it's not everyone that can lie and that is because it's not everyone that can lie for me I can't you see this is why I can't even forge citizenship anywhere in the world because I, I don't know the next minute I'm going to forget to say oh I'm a Nigerian but many Nigerians are going about in Ghana with the Ghanaian citizenship card. I have never thought of it because I can't live my life lying about it. I don't know how to fake. So if you don't see me again, I'm not saying I'm afraid of them, I'm not. Lily is never afraid. Even at gunpoint, I go see the talk and light no day for Nigeria. Light no day. So the fact that some people are so selfish, oh, because you have electricity at your own corner, uh, the rest, they can go to hell. You hear, eh, hey, light today, Abana. So what about the people in Anambra, what about the people in Ogoja crossover? I mean, what about the people in other parts? Self-centered. <sighs> so I'll be waiting to be arrested. But thank you, Ghana, for helping Nigeria. You have elevated, you have given them something to. I like that. This is what I'm talking about. I have promoted Ghana head sector. This Nigerian talentless, useless, ugly looking woman, classless, fake liar. She said she have a Facebook page. I went on Facebook to check. This woman has nothing. She has zero following, zero nothing, zero, 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 everything. Everything about her life is zero, zero, zero. This same woman said, I have a husband that will take care of me. Yeah, that's it. That's how they will continue to take care of you people and you and kids that they are not, they, they, they didn't father majority of the kids that my nigerian men are fathering they are not their kids if before you send dss my way if i were you as a man before you get angry with me this video pick your kids go and do dna test on all of them then you can come and insult me call me single mother because that's the only insult this woman say hey, you have kids for different women <laughs> like am i a useless person i'm not my father and my mother broke up long long time ago when i was very small yeah my mother took me in and nurtured me she got remarried and my stepdad was amazing he was nice to me he showed me all the love and he passed on to glory and now i'm a grown woman this same father came from nowhere and said he want to be in my life i did not resist to i didn't stop him you want to be in my life is not a problem yeah because i'm not a foolish child i cannot go and be i mean i cannot be allowed to i mean in my life biba will like how when, where were you where were you like now i'm grown and i don't know you even though people are blackmailing me every day see if i'm done with this video you come in my inbox whatsapp or anywhere and tell me lily forgive your father i'll block you 
I don't have a father, okay? You were not there for me at the beginning. So shall it continue. Why do you want to be in my life all of a sudden? Why? I'm not a stupid person. Even my mom, like, forgive your father. Like, there is nothing to forgive. I don't know this man. This man is a stranger. Case closed. I'm not asking other people to be like me, but I don't know this man. And how am I going to lie about, I don't know this man. So now I have to lie. <laughs> I love my father. I don't know this man. That's it. If I want to be kind to him, if it's the material things, I've been gifting him gifts. All right. I do give him gifts when I could. But it's not something I have to go out of my way for because it's not that special to me. You understand? I've bought him clothes before. Someone gave me a box of um, clothes. Someone gave me a box of out outfits, clothes, goods, designers, clothes, do one to give to my father what i did is because i'm a very sweet soul i shared them to people that i know that were there for me at the beginning the real people in my life and then i picked the remaining one and give to my father and i added him money have i not right here i am wondering what is so special about nigerians that you cannot give your opinion about nigerians why or oh, nigeria what is so special about nigerians why are Nigerians so important? Why do you feel like that? We are never, there will, there will never be peace in Nigeria if we don't change our attitude. For you to sit down in Nigeria and think it's okay, you want to silence people here. This fight is not just against me, it's against my kids because I am single and doing amazing. I'm not sleeping with men. And the society wants to, our society pull you and keep you on that track as a single mother. They are not satisfied. So they, have, they think I'm making hell of money. Um, how can she be going on she's not sleeping with men for money because that is the anthem anyways anyone that come for me you know all the people that have come for my head on youtube even on youtube here they have paid deadly they, they are youtubers i started youtube with because of what they did to me they are nowhere to be found if you like post anything their channel not a peak and i didn't do anything i didn't even pray against them but you see what anytime you try to hurt a good person that has plan no evil against you you will collect all i want to say is may nigeria happen to you all of you that are coming after me you want my downfall you are so you just want my mental health may may nigeria happen to you this is a very simple prayer i'm praying may nigeria happen to you i'm done